What's up? It's you know who talking about you know what. Kim Kardashian and Kanye West. Everybody's talking about this divorce situation. But let's go back to the beginning. Like, this sounds like a broken record. Like, you've seen this before, right? Like, we just saw Chloe and Lamar do the same thing. She wasn't even with him. She jumped out of bed with James Harden watching the news. Like, you see this? Now I got to go be by my husband's side. So she runs from James Harden's bedside. Put her clothes on, run over there and get a plane, and go to the hospital and be like, oh, my husband, Lamar. All the media attention she got, Chloe's helping them do this, Chloe's helping them do that. And they basically used him up. Then when it was all done, he's all recovered, and no one cares no more, they signed the divorce papers. Doesn't that look familiar to this situation? But let's be fair to the situation at hand. Let's go into what this institutes. Notice in the statement they say sources close to the... Like I told you, it's Hollywood. See, they could never have a source or put a name to it. But it's respected enough where it can still go and float on every major network because the publicists want this out this comes from inside they want to put this out in the public eye now why would they want that I'm going to explain to you why see about a year ago this situation arose where they were headed for divorce not too many people really knew that, but they were really headed for divorce. When Kanye is unhappy, he makes everybody life around him very miserable. If things aren't going the way he wanted them to go, he acts out. And let's just say, about a year ago, this marriage was done. Completely done about a year ago. Now, they worked to some things and things started to turn around and things got better and, you know, but it was basically done at that point. But the business side of their being together was more important than the actual being together. Now, with all of that's happened within the past couple of months, not just her robbery, but with Kanye and him being unhappy again. It made everybody life a living hell. And the fact that he offended people, that that affects Kim. See, people don't understand. Kim is just not somebody who don't make money. She's not a video vixen. She has money too. She probably has more money than Kanye West right now. And right now, that is in jeopardy. Because to believe me, those same designers that work with Kim Kardashian, they work with Beyonce, they work with all these red carpet events she wants to be at, she wants to go to, she's used to going to, she's used to working at, she might not be there anymore. It'd be they say, well, Beyonce is gonna be here, and we don't want a confrontation, so we're not gonna have you at this year's event. So believe me, this is how things work in Hollywood. It's circles, and if you sh if you cause a rumble in the in the one of the bubbles, you're gonna have to distance yourself away from what's holding you and your business back. And that instance right now seems to be Mr. West. Now. How will she make that look? Oh, we're going to put out an a, a anonymous statement through our publicist. 
that we're going to be there for him while he's going to get better. Then we're going to get full custody of the kids where we can dictate when and when where he gets to see his children. He's not going to like it, but he's not going to have a choice because of his mental state. Now, you got to pay her while she goes out and marries somebody else. Well, date other people, rather. But, you know, you do it, you did it to yourself. Kanye hit the game and it was bigger than him. It, it, he got submerged in the fame part. And he wasn't ready for that. This was somebody that came up making records and making beats and, and you know, just trying to make it in hip hop. He was the, he used to look like Dwayne Wade. I mean, Dwayne Wayne. So, with them glasses on, he used to wear. And now he became the it factor in hip hop. You know, and people forget he went to an art school. He was an artist. This was somebody who knew what he wanted to do when he was young and got into this game like, man, I want to make records. I want to do this. I want to get to the, I want that fame. I want that limelight. I want, I want what that is. But when they got there, it was so much they couldn't handle it. And when you act out against the wrong people, eventually that stuff plays out. And power overwins. And when your support structure is not supporting you, you will be submerged by that power. Now Kanye could still come out and put out a stellar album. And shut up a lot of this stuff. But the main problem is how he's going to shut everything down and get it back to perspective. And will he be okay with Kim leaving? Kanye is a bit possessive. Everybody around him basically will be hostages. <laughs> Not like he's threatening to leave, but he's that type of personality where he wants his bubble to be one way and his way on. Well, once you don't have that power no more, and once you're not bringing nothing to the table, you're not worth anything to a Kardashian. So for you dictating terms, it ain't going to mean anything about you being her husband and all that stuff. You're only as good as what you could bring in. She can get an NBA basketball player now that's doing that. Easy. You know, but Kanye cares about his kids. You know, he cares about his wife. He cares about his family. He loves her, you know. Everybody else look at her and think sex only, but Kanye is, like, obsessively in love with Kim. So... Who knows how it plays out, but everyone knows divorce is imminent in this situation. People are like, oh, I hope they make it. Well, I mean, what about her has said that they take marriage very seriously in their world? I mean, she's been married three times. I mean, she married Chris Humphreys for, what, 20 minutes? So... There you go. They were married, what, like less than two weeks. It's like, come on. And then where is his career went? I mean, they call man killers the Kardashians. You know, that's not good press for them. So... Who knows what happens after this, but I'm pretty much just was off the Kanye thing, you know, I mean, let him rest, but this was leaked out.
No one would have been talking about this at all unless somebody wanted this out. So this is her letting people know that, like, look, don't, whatever Kanye did, don't associate it with Kim. So that's what this mainly is about. But we'll see what ensues in the next few months once they get everything put together. See, with rich people, divorce takes time. You know, they got to get their ducks in a row, see how they're going to structure the divorce, who gets the house, and, you know, all of that. I'm out.